and then me who this say no i'm just kidding <laughs> Check my weave. Make sure it's looking right. Okay, let's do this. So before we get started, I want to let you know what we need. Um, you're gonna need a picture frame, a poster board, some pictures, some construction paper, some scissors, and some glue. So I used a picture frame that I got from my local thrift store. It cost me about three dollars. It was really really cheap so check your local thrift stores if you have one near you i bought a white poster board just a plain white poster board you can get blue black gray whatever you like i chose white and then i went to my local library and printed out all of the pictures that i wanted to put on said poster board i also got some construction paper so that i can make like a a background for the picture so to speak and glue and we just glued it all to the poster board and then put the poster board inside of the picture frame so it's not hard it's not difficult at all i want to apologize in advance if you hear the kids because they are upstairs playing and there are kids outside playing and i have dogs as neighbors okay so let's just start there did you find the charger okay you need a plug Take 10. <laughs> I decided to do a vision board this year. I have done one in the past and honestly, they are a godsend. But I did it a little differently. I recommend you go watching Erin On Demand's channel. She is an amazing YouTuber, an amazing entrepreneur. Here we are. <laughs> so this is my vision board for 2020 and I'm super excited. So let's start at the very middle this just says 2020 it's the year uh yeah and it looks pretty so that's why i put it here um my word for the year is consistency that is the first word that actually came out of my mouth <laughs> january uh first so consistency is my word and then this quote is from dwayne johnson it says success isn't always about greatness it's about consistency consistent hard work leads to success Greatness will come. So that's where I am right now. I need consistency in my life. When I say I'm going to do something, I need to do it and continue to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's where I am personally. And then I have a picture of the Bible and the cross. I don't know where your faith lies, but I'm a Christian. So I need to be more consistent in reading my Bible. I know sometimes I get caught up in Instagram and Facebook and all these apps that I'm not consistent with the reading my Bible. So I need to definitely do that. And then I have a really small preacher here that says, pray faith in God. I definitely have faith in the things that I can't see or don't understand, but I definitely need to pray more. And I just need to read God's word, like just more, okay? And then I have an alarm clock that says 6 a.m. <laughs> Y'all. Yeah. I do not like getting up in the morning. I do have two children. My oldest son is in kindergarten, but child, I be waking up the last minute to get him to school, okay? So I have to do better. So 6 a.m., I'm trying to be consistent at getting up at 6 a.m. 6.01, 6.15, just 6 something, okay? So I'll put 6 a.m. here. The next thing I have is my YouTube channel. This is actually my um my banner and the photo that i have up there now i'm actually in the process of redoing my banner because i do have some more pictures to add to it but for now this is how it looks and then by the end of the year i want to hit 50,000 subscribers um that is my goal for the year it's a bit much but i'm sure it's obtainable and then i have this right here it says working with brands um, course overview so I have never worked with a brand before but I do want to work with five brands I actually didn't put the number five on here because I forgot but I did write it down um, in my uh, notebook <clears throat> the next thing I have here is a stack of money <laughs> and that represents ten thousand dollars so from youtube and working with brands i want to obtain at least a minimum of ten thousand dollars from these sources here so that's where the ten thousand dollars comes from and then we're gonna go here debt free 2020 so let me explain i have read this book called um dave ramsey total money makeover it's amazing if you haven't read it i suggest you take a look at it read it it's really really good so i personally am debt free 
but I am married and when I got married, I obtained my husband's debt. So we are, work we are working together on getting debt free. That is, I do not want to pay nobody. I'm not looking to pay nobody. I'm trying to cash and carry, okay? So that's a huge goal of ours this year. And honestly, it should be done soon. So right after I said soon, my camera died, but I'm not going to disclose a date with you guys. That's really personal. And I just want you to know that soon and very soon, we will officially be debt free. I chose a flower looking arrangement of greens. I want to incorporate more greens into my diet. It is very important to me simply because we need more greens. I tend to eat a lot of fruit, which is cool and everything, but I need more green vegetables. And then I attach the word gym over top of it because I need to be more consistent in the gym. I used to have a trainer when I lived in Georgia. He was amazing, shout out to Carlos. I will link his information in the description box if you wanna check him out if you live in Georgia. But I can no longer see Carlos because I live in Japan. So I need to be more consistent in going to the gym. That's why I have this here. The very last thing is time flies, use it wisely. So I oftentimes find myself just being complacent, I guess, and not using my time as wisely as I should. So like when it's time to do laundry, I just like not finish the last load, like just little stuff like that. And I just need to make sure that I spend my time as wisely as I can. So. With time flies, use it wisely. I also put a few things around that that are kind of associated with this little saying. And so the first thing is this little superhero sign. It says, boy mom, I have two sons, if you didn't know, Josiah and Daniel. And I need to make sure that I like be consistent in playing with them. They play a lot by themselves because they are 13 months apart, but I need to be more consistent in doing things solely with them. So I need to, time <laughs> with them and i also need time for my husband i am married and we do need date nights even if it's in the house watching movies eating some popcorn like we need date nights it needs to be like the two of us and then also time for myself i often feel like i am not giving myself enough time for just me even if it's just 20 minutes in the morning i just need that time for me you know just to wake up and feel refreshed etc etc so if i start waking up at 6 a.m i can have a little bit more time for me because i don't have to get Josiah up for school until 6 30 so that is my vision board i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you make a vision board let me know if you guys follow me on instagram tag me in your vision boards you should follow me on instagram because i'm about to be serving looks all 2020 okay sis so period here it is if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up and i will catch you on my next one bye